how to find the highest paying YouTube automation niches. So you want to find the most profitable YouTube automation channel niche and make money without making videos or showing your face. Let me break down for you three different methods how to find high CPM niches. You can start your very own YouTube automation business from scratch. Take some notes, pay close attention, and make sure you watch this video until the end. Because at the end of it, I'll reveal to you two essential factors you'll need to take into account if you want to evaluate if a niche is worth going for or not. So leave a like and let us jump into the short tutorial. This is the Finance Beast channel with another easy and free to use make money online tip for you. To learn more strategies about making money on YouTube without making videos or with automation channels, subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. All right, so the first thing you'll need to do if you want to start a cash cow channel is to find a profitable niche. Don't underestimate the importance of your choice because there's absolutely no point in uploading great content that is being viewed by thousands and thousands of people if you don't profit from that high traffic and make barely money from it. You can, for example, have a viral video for instance in a funny animal niche, even with millions of views but you will scarcely profit from this video because of the low CPM, or I should better say RPM, on funny animal niche. So going viral is important on the one hand, but on the other hand, virality tends to be a little bit overrated in my opinion. I'm convinced that the virality potential of a video is not that relevant as many think. Why is that? Well, let me tell you, you can make a lot more money from videos with way less views if you manage to find a niche with a relatively high CPM or RPM. And let me give you an advice here. Don't try with all force to copy big YouTubers when it comes to the choice of your niche. You can learn from them, of course, but you'll definitely not replicate their success. If you just copy them and upload your videos in niches, they upload their content. The biggest YouTubers, such as Coco Melon, PewDiePie, and Mr. Beast, don't have to consider which niche they're going to upload the next video in because their community is so big and their position in the YouTube algorithm is so strong. They can upload literally anything in any niche. People will watch them one way or another. Smaller YouTubers, on the other hand, with just a few thousand or a few hundred subscribers, simply cannot afford it. Small YouTubers have to focus on one niche, or better, a sub-niche to build their position there. And in order to stay competitive against bigger competitors before they can start expanding into other niches, that's an unwritten but basic rule on YouTube. Well then, let me show you how you could find a profitable niche for your cash cow channel so that you can start making money on YouTube without making videos of you showing your face. All right, let's do some live research together. Before I break down for you my three different approaches, how to find profitable automation channel niches you could make potentially a lot of money from ad revenue with, you will need to gather some ideas first. The goal of this is to get an overall idea of what topics could potentially become topics for your cash cow channel niche. Once you've created a list of, I'd say, 10 up to 30 potentially interesting ideas, you can niche down and investigate the further down the rabbit hole. So create a list. Let me open up Google Docs for you to start on your document here. Click on blank there and you can start doing some brainstorming. Let's say you're interested in making money. I guess that's why you're here and why you're actually watching my tutorials. So start your list with keyword, make money online. And what I'd recommend you to do is to try to think of what viewers on YouTube would search for. Try to imagine you are on YouTube searching for different make money online methods. For instance, you wanna learn how to make money with affiliate marketing, then write down make money with affiliate marketing. Or let's say you wanna learn how to make money with ClickBank affiliate marketing. Then just write down make money with ClickBank affiliate marketing and so on and so forth. In case we have absolutely no idea where to take your ideas from, you can always go over to Google Trends or YouTube itself. To get a general impression of what topics are trending at the moment, just open up a private session on Chrome. Go over to YouTube.com. Type in the search bar, make money online filter by upload date this month to make sure you're up to date and browse through the entries to get a general sense of what topics are the most trending on the make money online niche. And yeah, scrolling down, you see tons of different ideas you can use for your own research. Just write down as many ideas as you get from here. And once we have 10 up to 30 of them, you can proceed with the next step in our tutorial. All right, now you have your list of 30 ideas you can use for your further research. The next thing you will have to do is find a potentially profitable sub niche for your YouTube cash cow channel. There are three different approaches how I personally do my research on that matter. The first option is to do some so-called niche down, and that's a well-proven strategy I learned. Niche down basically means that you, as a starting content creator or YouTuber, or owner of a brand new YouTube automation channel, of course, try to focus more on finding sub-niches of niches you want to expand in later. 
Keywords in long tail keywords and sub niches tend to have a generally lower search volume than keywords in bigger niches. A lower search volume means in most cases also lower competition, which as a result makes it easier for you to get your new videos ranked under specific keywords inside the sub niche. You can always use free to use or paid research tools to check if a sub niche or keyword has a low or high competition or search volume. I personally use TubeBuddy for my research, but you can also use other tools such as vidIQ to niche down. Just go over to youtube.com and use the search bar as much as you can. I personally use the alphabet method often. Search for a specific term inside your niche, for instance, how to make money online with, and then add letters to that search entry going from A to Z, like counting down the alphabet. If I, for instance, type in the letter A, how to make money online with A, a lot of different suggested search entries will pop up. You can always presume that the search entries suggested by YouTube under specific keyword or letter have a more or less high potential because YouTube suggests only search entries that people actually search for on YouTube themselves. And as you can see, just by adding the letter A, I found already a bunch of new potential topics for my niche. Use that strategy for all letters of the alphabet, or at least for some of them, and you'll with 100% certainty find a whole lot of ideas for your YouTube automation channel. Another method I often use for my research is to check out what my dear competitors upload. Just to give you a fair warning right at the start, never ever copy other people's content. Yes, you can watch their videos to get an idea of what topics are trending and which style your competition uses in order to improve the quality of your own content, but don't copy their script, content, or style because A, that's not okay, and B, it won't work anyway. Instead, let their channels and their content inspire you and try to put information you got from them or their videos. In your own words, try to add your own thoughts, your own value, your own experience, your own information that you took from other sources such as, for instance, articles on Google or specific subreddits on Reddit. And yeah, try to be creative and write your own story, create your own content. You can, for example, visit the channel of one or more of your competitors in your sub niche. I will show you for the sake of this tutorial, Finance Girl Channel, great YouTuber, very talented and creative, and just browse through her channel to get some ideas for your next content. You can even do a niche down here by using the search tool on your competitor's channel. If you, for example, want to get an inspiration what to talk about in your next video, search for instance, make money online and check out what your competitor has to say about that specific topic on her channel. Watch some of her videos to get an idea of what to talk about. And yeah, based on that, write your own script or let a freelancer from Fiverr.com or Upwork do that for you and you're good to go. You can also sort the videos on your competitor's channel by popularity or most viewed. To get an idea which topics are or have been the most trending and made one all more of her videos go viral actually. And you can use those entries for your further research as well. So by studying and analyzing your competitors, you can never run out of ideas for your channel. Another easy research method I use, but not that often as to the previous one, is to find viral topics in my niche or sub-niche. In order to do that, just go over to YouTube and search for one of the ideas from your list you created in step number one. And that essentially for this specific method, filter the entries by upload date this month and sort them by view count. Sorting the entries by the latest and most viewed videos from your competition, you make sure that you're searching only for the most trending and potentially viral stuff inside your niche. And let me give you an advice. Don't be afraid of doing videos under hot trending keywords, even if they have a higher competition or search volume than the most content from your sub niche or niche. Don't let people scare you stating some niches are oversaturated and that you should avoid them because in my opinion and in my experience, there's no such thing as oversaturated. Just try to make your video be better and more professional in all aspects than the content of your competitors. If you stick to that rule and upload consistently, improve and stay focused, you can absolutely make one or more of your videos go viral. Even in so-called oversaturated niches, you can apply all three of the different approaches or research methods I've shown you to any niche you like, be it relationship, weight loss, trading, cryptocurrency, or make money niche, you name it. I consider those five niches to be highly profitable, but nevertheless, no matter what niche you would like to start your cash cow channel in, there are some things you need to consider first before you decide to actually choose a specific niche. So let me tell you how you can validate if a niche you found with the help of the research methods I've shown you is actually viable. Basically, there are two factors you need to keep in mind when choosing a niche for your YouTube automation channel. The first factor is achievability. 
just ask yourself if the style of the video in the specific niche you would like to start your channel in actually fits you. And if you can actually manage to create videos the way most of your competitors create them in that specific niche. For example, let's say you would like to start a van life channel. The RPM on van life channels or van life videos is actually quite high. The videos are short and easy to make, so why not start in a cash cow channel here? Well, ask yourself how you can make van life videos if you don't want to show your face in your videos, which is, after all, one of our goals here. We're trying to make money on YouTube without making videos or without showing your face. So try to choose a niche that you know you will feel comfortable with. Another factor is the feasibility of the niche or the sub-niche. I mean, you can always start another and another and the next game channel on YouTube. Game channels are probably the easiest content to create. You can literally upload tons of them on a daily basis with just some copy-pasting work. But how much money will you actually make from ad revenue in a niche that has a very low CPM, such as the game niche, where you can expect to make no more than one or two dollars per 1,000 views, which is not profitable at all. To make decent money from game channels, you would need to have more than just one viral video and each one of them with millions of views. So I'd recommend you to stick to niches with a high CPM ranging from $15 up to $50 per 1,000 views, in many cases even way above that, and start your channel there. Niches I can honestly recommend you are the following, trading, weight loss, cryptocurrency, make money niche. So that was my tutorial on how to find highest paying YouTube automation niches to start your own channels on. If you want to learn more advanced strategies, how to make money on YouTube without showing your face and without making videos, check out the link in the description below on this video. Subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads here. Leave a like and tell me in the comments down below which niches you would want to start your YouTube automation channel in. Stay tuned and see you next time.